<laughs> MIC's two year anniversary is coming up August 17th, guys. And last year it was in Philadelphia. We threw, man, we paid like a couple hundred thousand bucks for that event. We basically gave it for free last year. Booked a giant venue, paid for everything, it was not cheap. Um, bought food, bought drinks, took people out. It, it, was, it was a big thing because that's, you know what? Hey, why not, right? <laughs> um, this year, unfortunately, but last but there's pros and cons of this year. Last year, people wanted to attend but couldn't make it from, from around the world. And they asked if there was a stream to watch, and there wasn't, unfortunately. This year, because of the COVID and Corona, no one can travel, so it's going to be virtual online. Let me bring up Alex and let's talk about this. Yeah, Alex, raise your hand. Let me go find you. Here we go. Everybody, this year is going to be awesome for everybody, guys. Everybody can go, hey, what's up, brother? What's up, man? What's up? Dude, your beard's freaking growing, man. I know, bro. I know. I know. I know. I got to go get a haircut, bro. I got to get my shit together. It's, I don't know. Maybe I can ask that guy uh, across the building for me. <laughs> to come, bro, your barber, I see he's wearing gold Rolex, gold rings, iced out <laughs> chains. The guy cleaned up during quarantine with the private haircuts, bro. Dude, seriously. But yeah, we were talking about now, you know, with, with this, this actually, it might be as good. We, know, we, we never did the streaming thing. Now people from around the world, we, man, I can't, how many members did we have in total before? Like everybody outside of must, must have been in like a 5,000 range now, right? Yeah. Obviously, some, yeah. So, yeah. So this year, this year we're going to do it online. And we're like, how much should we price it, right? Because no one likes value free shit. So we had to price at something. And so we, we decided this year, you know what, man? We were going to price it kind of high. Like, not even high. We, were gonna, we looked around to see what other people were charging. And we're like, okay, we're going to charge that. And then we said, fuck this shit. These guys are trying to rip people off. We, and we're trying to give back. So t tell them what we're doing. So maybe you can show them the, the link too. Yeah. So number one is the link. I'll type it out for everyone. It's myinvestingclub.com slash anniversary. So if you go to that right now, you can see everything. So what we're going to do for this event. So last year in Philly, what we did is Bao was literally trading live in front of everyone, right? He set his fantasy orders. He was trading. He was making money. Uh, I was showing you guys how to build a watch list. And then the moderators kind of came up and they were doing their own presentations. So this year we're doing something similar, right? So it's going to kind of be a full day event. So starting at eight o'clock, I'm going to show you guys how I build my watch list in the morning. We're going to build a watch list that Monday. So the event is Monday, August 17, which is our two year birthday. I'm going to show you how to build a watch list on Monday. And then Bao is going to trade, you know, the same way. He looks at the watch list, makes his own plans and then executes. So from nine to zombie times, I guess Bao is going to be there showing you guys his whole routine, his whole process. And then after that, we're going to open it up into presentations from the moderators. So the way that we have it set up, I'll show you guys the landing page, is if you go to the landing page here, you could see uh, that in 19 days is our event. And these are... Oop, we lost your audio. About all day. Uh, do you guys hear me? Test, test. You guys hear now, me? Now I can hear you. If you guys have any, so uh, uh, the bear is going to be talking about. It, it, if you have any information, just text Tosh. If if something gets, if you need more information, just text Tosh. But um, I can't hear you right now, Alex. Uh, Let me take off my headphones. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're basically giving it away for free. So. Yeah. So. Uh, what else we're going to do is we're going to have the bear trading, talking about all day faders. Faye is going to be talking about how to be consistently profitable. Harry's going to talk about front side and back side and how to long the first bounce trade. Joe's going to be talking about the MIC process in every single type of market. Austin's going to be talking about how to reduce FOMO. And James is going to be talking about pre-market trading. So imagine a full, full, full day of just pure education and content. Usually what everyone else does is they try to get you into the door and then sell you an upgraded, crazy uh, two-month timeshare or whatever it is. But 
in this event, we're basically going to be giving you guys everything. You know, we're going to be pulling back the curtain. We're going to be showing you all the secrets. We're going to give you everything that you need to know. So not only are you going to learn the MIC process, you are going to watch Bao execute the process live. And in addition to all this, just so that it kind of stays fun and entertaining, we're going to be doing giveaways during the event too. So your entry ticket throws you into a raffle to potentially win uh, an accelerated course, to potentially win a year of MIC for free, to potentially win some MIC swag, like a mouse pad, t-shirt, all this stuff. So again, the event is gonna be August 17th. It is free for annual and lifetime members. For monthly members and non-members, we are doing the lowest ticket fee ever. It's $97. Uh, this is going to be an early bird special. So in about two weeks, the price is going to go up. Yeah, this is also – space is limited, guys. Uh, Zoom has a maximum capacity. So we don't know how many is going to sign up. So it's going to be a first come, first serve. Uh, the priority is going to be always the lifetime and then the annuals. And then the rest will be the monthly and then, you know, whoever else. And $97. This is pretty much – we're like losing money, <laughs> which we, we, we do last year anyway. So it's not like we're, make, we're here to make money, right? So, but the point is this, dude, that we want to give back. This is our second year. I can't believe it's only been two years. It feels it like, like 20 years, years dude. <laughs> so, and all the, all the moderators there, all the crew there, we're going to have a great time. And you know what, man? When the corona is lifted and we can travel, we're going to throw a freaking meetup, guys. So this is uh, your chance to just learn. Use this opportunity when you're at home. Instead of freaking watching Netflix and chill, why don't you learn to trace stocks and make money? Yep. <laughs> you know? before, this, before this whole pandemic stuff, you know, we were kind of the pioneers in starting meetups for everyone, right? We threw, I think in one year, we threw six different meetups. So we went to Hawaii, uh, Texas, Bao went to France, uh, went to everywhere. So our heart and soul of MIC is to kind of meet traders and meet people around the world because I know from my own personal life and Bao knows from his own personal life that this shit is lonely. It doesn't matter how many friends you have in the real world. You can't talk to someone about making or losing $100, $200,000 a day. They're going to think you're crazy. They're not going to understand. But what we do or what we like to do different is we like to show you that there are other people out there like you. You know, I am not the most extroverted person I'm more of an introvert. MIC has tried to push me to become more extroverted. But at the end day, guys, this is something that is really going to be able to change your life. You know, what other opportunity are you going to get where you could see a seven figure trader and multiple six figure traders revealing their process and not only showing you their process, but watching them execute it live. Like I said, every single other person, their goal is to get you in the door and sell you some crazy, ridiculous whatever the hell it is, in the hopes that they give you just enough to make you want more. But I could promise you guys that we're going to give you everything. There's no hiding anything. There's no special anything. If you want it, you're going to get it, and we're going to show you the, the uh, I, I, I want to I quickly walk through the sign-up thing. So we pretty much dropped it down to 97 bucks. I mean, if you, this is basically free. But we're, we, we're having un, unlisted promotions as well. So if, you wanna, if you're not a current member or you're a member you want to upgrade, this is the time to do it. Because what's going to happen is this. You, you can now get an accelerator at a really discounted price. If you want you to learn, maybe even prior to coming to the event. You see what I'm saying? Why wait to learn at the event? Why not start now? So you can get a very discounted promotional package and join whatever it is so that you are ready when you come in to ask questions. See? So don't just wait around. And number two is this. There's a, it's a two-day event. The first day is for the general public. Yep. And the second day is for lifetime only. So yeah. this is where the lifetime comes in. Because now you're going to have a smaller group of people. And we are going to mentor you. A smaller group of people. Yeah. So imagine day one is going to be the full nine yards, live trading, presentations, everything. And then day two is exclusively for lifetime members. So it's going to be a lot of more smaller group mentorship, a lot more one-on-one -on -one type of stuff. And this is just kind of to keep, because at the end of the day, guys, at the end of the day, we are trying our best to provide you with as much value as possible. If you look around anywhere else, you're going to see all these guys charging, you know, five, ten thousand $10,000 to meet them, to do whatever the hell it is. And we're just charging a small, because 
it, honestly, if it was up to Bao, he wanted to make the event free, right? Bao wanted to make the event free, but what we realized about throwing free events is people don't appreciate it. If it's free, they feel like there's no value. So we want to do the lowest amount to just get you in to see how much value we're going to provide to you. Yep, and the, the thing is this, guys. I mean, where, where the hell are you going to get this education for this price? It's, it's basically, I don't even want to do this, to be honest. I do this because I love you guys and I want to help you guys because there's no fucking money made in, in this industry. I'm telling you right now, the amount of hours we work is not worth it. You know, I, I, can, I right now I'm giving up my trading to do this. I can devote 100% of my time on training, but my point is, that's, that's the difference, man. The difference is this. So I want to get into the quickly, like why we're doing this. We're doing this to try to help change people's lives. We're not doing this to make ourselves look cool. We're, if we wanted to make money, we would have charged $500 like everybody else. We would have not do lifetime. You, you know how much the cost of some of these programs are for a year? Like seven grand, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and here we are giving a day, day two for free. That, you know, we, we've been doing this forever. So, so I'm telling you guys, this is your opportunity to change your life, guys. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say because, you know, if, if you miss this, it's not going to come again until next year. And who knows, next year, <laughs> you know, it may be totally different too. So this is an opportunity. Which I, I really see the COVID as two parts, guys. You can either look at it like, oh, fuck my life, I'm, I'm miserable. But, dude, this is your opportunity to freaking think what you want to do in life. This is your opportunity where you're not going out partying. There's nothing else to do. You're working from home. You have all the time in the world to reflect. And a lot of you guys are being unemployed, getting free money from the stimulus, getting free money from unemployment. <laughs> Some of you guys make more money in unemployment than we are, Paul. <laughs> so, you know, and something you, else I want to mention, Bao, is life-changing money doesn't mean making $100,000 a month, man. For me, when I first started trading, man, money that would change my life was anything that would make me more money than Starbucks. I was making about $150 after taxes a week. So if I was able to make even $100 a day or $200 a week, that would change my life. So don't be fooled by all these numbers that you see online. Don't be... Uh, obsessed with trying to be a 10-figure trader. At the end of the day, if you are able to show up to the market and make $100 consistently, you are doing better than 90% of the traders. And don't forget that the $100 days are the blueprints to the $1,000 days, the $10,000 days, and $100,000 days. So don't, don't forget how, how far a small amount of money could go if you are consistent with it, guys. Don't feel like you have to be this big swinging guy that's trying to make all this money. I've done it, Bao's done it, and what we realized is that actually trading smaller, trading less, yields to more happiness and less stress, which is what we're looking for at the end of the day. I was explaining to Bao, it's like, I'd rather be rich and stress-free than mega rich and super stressed. It just doesn't make sense, bro. It just doesn't make sense. So don't be uh, fooled by what you see on the internet, guys. Even a hundred dollars a day is going to change a lot of people's lives. And that, that's the thing that pisses me off, man. I went on a little rant yesterday on Twitter. Go to my Twitter and you read it. I, I am the reality check for most of these motherfuckers out there. I'll tell you right now. These motherfuckers, they forget that they used to be poor, working at Starbucks, but Alex and I will never forget. I worked at minimum wage. My parents worked at minimum wage. We, we, you know, this was not an overnight success. My parents worked for 40 years to enable to me to do what I do. It took me around 30 years to get to where I am. It's basically this, guys. You see these giant numbers, hundreds of thousands of dollars every day online. You know what? There's a handful of those superstars out there. And then there's a bunch of, bunch of like, snakes that go, you know what, man? Everybody needs to make this kind of money. If you don't make this kind of money, you're a piker. You are you are no good. Stop don't, stop doing this shit. I'm like, motherfucker. It's like it's like Michael Jordan said, if you don't win six rings, you suck. How many motherfuckers win six rings, right? Bill Russell, Tom Brady, you know, things like that. And so not everybody can be a quarterback. Somebody can be a linesman in the NFL making millions of dollars a year and be very happy. Don't need to be making Patrick Mahomes kind of money, right? <laughs> I mean, not everybody's like that. But the problem is this, man. If, like me, for instance, let's say I play football. Obviously, I'm no fucking Patrick Mahomes. I can't be a fucking tackle guy, right? I'm like two foot nine. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but what I can do is this. I could be the guy that does the statistics 
for the football that runs the, the playbook. And that's why the Chiefs are kicking ass. They have a assistance guy. They're, they're going down on fourth down and shit like that. Everybody has a niche. So I'm trying to tell you guys, find your fucking niche. Stop listening to these motherfuckers who are so low, so low, uh, low self-esteem that thinks that anybody not making millions of dollars is a piper. $200 a day will change your life, guys. 200 days supplemental income. That's the difference between us and everybody else. We're not telling you to quit your job. I'm being the fucking most realistic motherfucker here. Keep your fucking day job. Learn to trade like Alex does. Like we taught everybody at MIC. James works one hour a day trading. He makes 700 bucks, 1,000 bucks, whatever he makes. Life fucking changing money. That was when I realized that, you know what? I'm finally happy. I was making so much money back then, you have no clue. The guys that, the guys that make the true money will never fucking tell you how much they make. It's always someone else that brags for them. And you, no one even knew what the fuck I did. Okay? And then one day I said, fuck this shit. I'm going to tell people because I want to tell the right story. I don't want to be seen like I'm here to brag about what I have or what I do and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to tell you that money don't make you fucking happy. You, ha you just need enough to make you happy. You don't need mega millions like Alex does. The chase to making that will burn 99.9999% of the people out there. It is much easier, guys. To create a method that makes you consistent 200, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. You do not need to make 100,000 a day and risk losing 100,000 the next day. Yep. Those guys leveled up. They're superstars. You know? But you know what? I'm just telling you the reality check. Most of us are not superstars. I, I, I can't fucking hold a position like that. I've done that before, but... You know, it's all timing in terms of your, your, your stage in your life. These are 25-year-old kids, 30-year-old kids with no family, nothing to risk. But realistically, most of you guys out there have responsibilities. You have family. You have kids. How the fuck can you risk all this? So we are giving you the alternative education that, that you know what, man? That no one's going to fucking tell you. People are telling you all the time, oh, you're, you're a fucking piker if you don't fucking hold this shit and make $100,000 a day. Motherfucker. <laughs> it's like bullshit. If I make fucking five hundred dollars every fucking day, if someone gave me, you know what the win for life lotto is? What would they give you? Like two thousand a week? Two thousand a week? You know the scratcher shit? Everybody's buying that scratcher shit. And the the win for life is two thousand dollars a week. Are they a piker? Everybody would love that shit. If you can make two thousand dollars a week consistently, supplemental income, just like a scratcher, that's a win for life, dude. That's a fucking win for you life. You know what really stuck with me, Bao, is when Alan Wiggins said that life changing money was when he went to a restaurant and stopped looking at the price of the food on the menu. That was life changing money for him. And that, when you told that to me, that really stuck with me as well, man. Because that, yeah, it, that small feeling. That changed of, you, bro. Yeah, man. It's, 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 it's a great feeling. But also, we have to remember that even that $100 a day that you make is going to buy you a steak. And that might be life-changing to a lot of people, man. So don't ever forget that. Correct. And so that's the thing, man. A lot of the people out there, they, they, they I mean, they're out, they, they're unrealistic. Because you know what? To be honest, guys, I'm telling you this right now. I'm going to call right now. They haven't made it. Those that made it, those that fucking made it are here to help people realistically level up. They are not just cherry picking a bunch of guys hey, hanging out in a giant click, the bunch of fucking mega rich guys, and then looking down and calling each other name, calling everybody else names, right? Like you suck. You know, it's very simple. Who's there to stroke their own ego? Who's there to help other people? I don't need to stroke my own ego. They stroke my ego for me already. So, <laughs> so my point being is, don't you know what, man? I was very fucking happy, unhappy at the height of my career when I was making this. Imagine this was like a fucking decade ago. This was inflation, due to inflation. Like no one made that shit back then, right? And my point is that did not make me happy, guys. I chased it for my own self-esteem. When I realized uh, the secret was, so now I'm passing back the secret to Alex and everybody else, right? Life-changing money is not millions. It's just being able. To not worry about money. Not worrying about your food on your plate. Not worrying about... I'm not talking about you buying fucking Gucci belts and shit. You're on your own on that shit, right? <laughs> I'm talking about the basic necessities of life. 
Americans do not understand. I came, I came from a third world country. We didn't have clean water. We didn't have food. It's like some days you don't fucking eat, dude. If you don't go hustle, you don't fucking make money to eat. If you don't go fucking assemble a bunch of shoes and sew a bunch of shirts, you're not going to be able to eat lunch. So for me, so everybody, we have to put in perspective, guys. You as a spoiled person living in the greatest country in the world will never, ever be happy if you do not turn off social media, stop looking at Kim Kardashian's big butt and her fancy fucking Fendi clothes. You know what I'm saying? You'll never be happy. You have a Mercedes. You're not happy until you have a Ferrari. The guys with a Lambo are not happy until they have a private jet. The private jet guys are not happy until they have a 200-foot yacht. And the 200-foot yacht guys are not happy until they have on the Forbes billionaires list, right? It never fucking ends, guys. So the only way to become successful, in my opinion, is to equate it back. Show them that stack of dollars you have, man. Talk about that one. Uh, Right here. So explain why you have all that besides the people think you're yeah, so everyone, everyone, always thinks club, like, right? everyone always thinks like I'm going to the strip club every week or something like that. But the truth of the matter is this, guys. It's like no matter what, when you see numbers on a screen, it's almost like a video game. I used to play a lot of video games when I was younger. So it's almost like trying to get the high score. But what we often forget is that, you know, you have to equate this money to something real. This is $500 in ones. And the reason why I have it in ones is because – if I am trading and I see $500 on the screen, I'm like, oh, it's a scratch day. Oh, it's stupid. Oh, I don't need it. And I start gambling it away. But if I see it on my desk and I can just relate the numbers to a physical item and look at what it looks like physically, it's kind of like a good uh, exercise in trading psychology. It's so a now, reminder, dude. It's a wake-up call of what real – Real money is. It's not fucking million dollars on the fucking screen. No one can equate. That's why when you own a casino, they give you chips. But you imagine gambling with, with money instead of chips. You're like, holy fuck, I just laid out that brick of fucking hundreds. Exactly. <laughs> right? Versus one chip. That doesn't mean anything. You know what I like to do? I like to go, fuck, I just lost myself. Two pairs of fucking Nikes. Um, <laughs> the mortgage, <laughs> you know, shit like that. You have to relate it back. And then, you know what sucks, man? I go to a restaurant. I'm going, fucking Wagyu is so expensive. Maybe I'll just get the cheap prime, <laughs> prime rib, right? <laughs> I'm like, fuck, this $200 Wagyu. But then I'm like, oh, damn, I just took a $200 paper cut. Nothing, paper cut all day. Or $300 <laughs> locate fee that you don't use. <laughs> yeah, you see? And then we go, we, and then outside of training, we're like, fuck, dude, that Wagyu. What? $5 for a fucking sauce? <laughs> that, <sauce. laughs> that happens to me all the time, guys. I'm like, you know, the, the store charges me a dollar for a hot sauce. I'm like, fuck, I love hot sauce, right? But I'm like, I, it's just a principle. I can't pay a dollar for that. <laughs> you know? So I changed my whole perspective a lot, guys. I stopped being cheap on the shit that makes me happy. I gladly pay a dollar for the shit that makes me happy. I, when I grew up, man, I used to, we only bought shit that was on sale. Ugly oh, ass shirts I don't want. Ugly oh, ass shoes I don't want. I buy this shit I never wear. Why not just buy one thing that you love and you wear it every day? So that, so when that happened to me, I realized, you know what, man? We're, my mentality all set. I don't need to be chasing all these artificial things that doesn't make me fucking happy. So when you reset your brain, you become comfortable with yourself. You, your identity, your, your self-esteem is no longer equated to the material shit that you own. You notice I drove around a fucking beater car when I started MIC, and people laughed at me. All the trolls were like, what the fuck are you driving that, like, Camry, remember? And then it, 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 caught, it caused this whole thing where Bal is actually not a traitor. He's some guy that lives on someone's couch. <laughs> so, you know, but I did that to kind of, like, beat myself to the point where it's okay, Bal. I used to care a lot, guys. I used to care so much. I replied to trolls every day. Now you know that I don't talk to trolls anymore. I block everybody. I have thousands of blocks. You see my Twitter now? I don't argue with people. I just post my charts. I don't brag. I go, boom, I'm the best. All this shit. It's just, you know what? Based upon that, I'm happier, guys. And if you're happier, you trade better. That's my point. I'm very comfortable now with who I am. I got rid of the friends that were no good. And now we're hard. So my point to you guys is... Deep down, if you're struggling as a trader, to be honest, I'll tell you that one of the psychological reasons you're losing is because you're always like, fuck, 
I want to make more. I want to make more. Why would they? I, I want to impress my friends. I, what? A hundred dollars? If I tell, I would have made a thousand dollars. And then what happens? You fucking lose the money because you're, you know, you, because you're, you, you're, you're too eager all the time. If you honestly play a trick in your mind, and then you know you look at this shit like, man, if I can make a steak every fucking day. So you make the steak every day. Then next thing you know, maybe make a steak with uh, now you can add dessert to it, right? <laughs> so now, so you level up properly. You have to build your bankroll, guys. And you're gonna know is this, man. This is this is the thing that I noticed about myself as well. When when I lose money, is when I start to drive my fancy car, go start spending money, because I feel <laughs> bad about myself. I need to prove to myself that I'm worthy. But when I'm fucking making money every day, I'm a sloppy pig. I don't give a fuck, because they don't know me, motherfucker. Right? You're walking around like Kanye West, looking like a poor bum, right? <laughs> but, but, but the rappers are all ice up. They're poor. You don't see Bill Gates walking around like that. Make sense? So compare Jay-Z. You know, there's a bunch of memes on the internet. Jay-Z used to have, like, ice all over. Now he's like, I don't give a fuck. So that, that's the whole thing. So change your mentality. So we wanted to throw this event. Not as a show off of a big swinging dick making millions of dollars trading a day. It's a reality event, guys. We will show you how to change your fucking life. Okay? Changing your life for real. Realistically, milestones, goals that you can accomplish within months. Not this artificial bullshit about Lambos, private jets, shit like that. If you see a motherfucker with an ad, on a private jet, run the fuck away. <laughs> Whoa, okay, I'm tired. <laughs> that was good, man. That was good. And also, guys, again, if you have any questions about the event, we have a special kind of unadvertised promotion going on as well. You could text Tosh at 213-458-5997, and he could work on something specifically tailored to you guys. But other than that, uh, again, August 17th, is for the general public, and August 18th is exclusively for lifetime members. Yep, guys. So anything you hit us up? Any, any last things, guys? Any questions? We'll take a. How about this, man? We'll take a few questions since Alex is here. Yeah, let's do it. Can put, we're, let's we're do done. It. Oh, okay. Let's do questions. Guys. Yeah, let's do questions, man. Throw yeah, it in. Let's do, that. let's do it. So spit out whatever question you want, man. It doesn't have to be about trading either. It can be about how the hell does Alex live with that giant itchy beard? <laughs> <laughs> All right, why is Mal so fucking fat these days? <laughs> uh, let me see. Both days are recorded. Yes, we will record them. Yep. Online meetup. Well, that's going to be the boot camp August 17th and 18th. Are most members part-time traders? Of course. Yeah. There's not many people that are full-time traders, guys. Alex is a part-time trader, by the I'm way, guys. I'm a part-time He's... trader, man. I'm, I'm the most part-time that it gets. I cut my trading off at 1030 every single day, no matter what. Yep. You know, he's running other businesses. He's doing this. You don't see him around. That's why I got to stick around. <laughs> Alex sticks around. He makes more money. <laughs> I'm a full-time blogger. <laughs> um, how to short a stock when there's no shares available? I mean, if there's no shares to short, then you can't, you can't short it. The, the misconception is that there's no shares. You can always find shares you're the right broker. Sometimes they run out. You have to be early. So the first step is start with the correct broker. If you have any questions about the broker, once again, text Posh. MIT has a bunch of partners that give you special rates, guys. Yep. Um, if you're a yearly member, do you need to sign up? Nope. If you're a yearly member, there's uh, a link over here. I'll show you. If you are a yearly member, all you have to do is click this member access button, and then on the day of the event, you will have access. Um, well, you guys see how I live day to day on Instagram. So I'm gonna give you another tip, guys. If you wanna know what your mentors are, how your mentors are, personality-wise, or being real, whatever, look at their fucking lifestyle. I mean, you know, do I practice what I preach? Or do I get home and start putting on my fucking Gucci belt, right? <laughs> you see me fucking eat all day, shit like that. That's how we are. And you see Alex walking around like this. You, you know, who the hell does a live? My C-shirt and shorts every day, bro. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, but those shorts are like uh, Gucci shirt, uh, Versace shirts. <laughs> no, bro, I got Nikes. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> good try, good try. <laughs> avoid forex. The reason why I'm saying avoid forex because, man, you see how many scammers there are on forex. That that's a pretty good indication. Bro, of don't which. get me started, please, please change <laughs> the subject for the love of God. Yeah. Um, what is some advice for someone who is struggling to be consistent and panicking while in the trade? So. If you are panicking while in the trade, it means two things. Either one, you are oversized in the trade, or two, you have not planned for the trade. Most of the times, every, most of the times, if you are nervous or panicking or stressed, you are doing something wrong. Trading should be boring. If you are looking for action and you're looking for adrenaline, you are probably in the wrong trade. Something that Dr. Bresley Marger taught me is that if I am stressed in a trade, that is my signal to reassess the trade and probably get out of it. So if you are struggling and you are panicking, that probably means that you lack a process. Probably means that you lack a plan. And you are <coughs> of gambling, guys, and this is a very, very, very common mistake that a lot of people do. Yep. And uh, I want to comment, man. I, I'm not a guy that's bashing nice things. Okay, nice is the word relative, right? When you consider nice, but we, the point is not that I hate nice materialistic things. I live in a nice place. I drive a very nice car. I have a bunch of these toys. My point being is this, I deserve it. I worked hard. This is extra money I don't fucking need. That's why I waste it on stupid shit. But if you're starting out, my point to this, like if you're starting out, that's what I mean, right? You don't have fucking money to trade. What the fuck are you buying Gucci Bell? That's another thousand dollars that can go to your trading account. So when I was an up and comer trader trying to learn to trade, I didn't fucking go out. I saved my money so that I could build my bankroll so I could trade. You know, if you go, oh, I can't afford fucking MIC. Like, what the fuck? You going out drinking with your fucking friends every weekend? Why are you celebrating, dude? Why are you popping bottles? You have something to celebrate? <laughs> you must after. reward yourself for your hard work, and you must punish yourself when you break a rule. So let's say, for example, I hate working out. So anytime I break a rule or I'm red, I got to go work out because I hate it. And I don't want to work out so that I don't break the rule again. But on the flip side, if I'm consistent for a week or if I'm consistent for a month, that gives me an excuse to take my family out for a nice dinner or to go out to a club or to enjoy myself. Because if you are not relating the good things or if you're not enjoying the good moments, then you're never gonna, it's never gonna really matter. So give yourself uh, maybe certain criteria. Hey, if I'm green five days in a row, I'm gonna take my wife out to a nice dinner. If I'm green for a month in a row, you know what, I'm gonna buy my mom or my parents something nice. That way, it makes you feel good when you follow your rules and follow your process. And if you do screw up, and if you do mess up, you have to punish yourself. Whether that means instead of having steak for dinner, you have to eat a salad or what, just small things to kind of uh, trick your brain into doing the right things. Uh, is yep. And, and it, it, it leads me to, to what happened last week. So I had a, a loss, which I posted to you guys, right? And the reason I had that loss is I, was, I walked in with a big, I'm gonna bank, I'm gonna do this. And so when that didn't happen, the money is very insignificant to me. It was not a like fifteen thousand. I posted a loss. I mean, I made it back the next day, right? But the point being is this: Why was I so upset? I was upset because I'm like motherfucker. These other guys are making hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they I knew I'm an idiot. I lost. So you know what I did, guys? I said, Alex, I'm gonna take a day off. I went to the fuck. You saw this? I went to get a manicure. <laughs> I, I had a beauty day, and I'm I'm there looking at these people. Working their ass off for forty dollars, and I'm crying boo hoo hoo because I didn't make a hundred thousand dollars that day. And I'm like, ever since that day, it changed my perspective. So sometimes you need to humble the fuck down and just stop crying. There's always people there that so so I so ever since that day, I've been green, I've been killing it because I've been relaxed. I'm not coming to the markets thinking I'm gonna make a hundred grand. I take what the market gives me. I stick to my process, and I'm happy as fuck. I'm walking around right now, so what? I can make more money. I can also lose more money, but what? You know what I'm saying? That's my the right is, mindset, bro. That's the right mindset. I love it. I love seeing you happy, man. Yep. And so uh, that's my advice to you guys, because everybody goes through this, guys, including a person who's been trained for so long, including a person that doesn't need to trade anymore. You know, it's, it, it, it comes out. This is a very mental game in addition to a technical game. All right. <laughs> I think that's it, guys. Yep. Thank you, guys. We'll see you. Any questions, text Tosh or hit us up online. You know where you can find us. Yep. Later, Thanks, guys. guys.